Master Bridge. Welcome back to the Master Bridge Tournament. Let me remind you, we have eight international players competing for £8,000 in prize money. After three sessions, Rixie Marcus and Martin Hoffman tie the lead with nine points. Two points behind them are English internationals Jeremy Flint and Irving Rose. Next come Omar Sharif and Jane Pryde on five points. And finally, Zia Mahmood, star of the Pakistani team, and England's Robert Sheehan with three points. And with me again to analyse the bidding and play of the hands is the Canadian international, Sammy Kahila. Sammy. Well, Nicola, with only six points between first and last, the tournament is still wide open. So let's go straight to the first of this session's hands with Rixie Marcus North playing with Irving Rose South against Robert Sheehan West and Omar Sharif East. Omar is a dealer and his partnership is vulnerable. One diamond. Yes. One heart. There are some people One who spread. might bid two hearts on the south hand if they're playing sort of into a weakish jump over calls, but this is not the Stop. case here. Three hearts. Three hearts by north is just a normal invitational bid uh, in case partner has a good hand. Pass. Irving has. Pass. Oh, that's a surprising pass. Pass. So perhaps he felt that his partner's three hard bid may have been intended as, as a semi preemptive Well, bid. If, if he felt that, he might as well bid four hearts because then the opponents have got game. If yeah. Rixie has a weak hand with hearts, he has no defense. Yeah, yeah. Sheehan does not have to look beyond his singleton diamond, the bid that his partner has made for his opening lead. All right. Ten of diamonds. Irving has mixed feelings on viewing the dummy. He knows his contract is secure, but he's wondering perhaps whether he has not missed a game. He seems to have two spade losers and two diamond losers, but one of the diamond losers can be readily discarded on the king of clubs. So it becomes a question of whether he can arrange to rough his spade loser and the dummy, and at the same time preventing east-west from promoting a trump <coughs> somehow. It's simple enough to win the first trick and play the, the ace and king of clubs and discard his diamond. What he's thinking is, what should he do after that? And he'll have decided when he, in fact, follows from dummy, won't he, Sammy? That's the way it goes. Of course, I know what to do after that. <coughs> but I have a pretty good idea of, uh, of, success, all, four hands. of all four hands. <laughs> Irving clearly has nine tricks, so he must be thinking about a possible over trick, perhaps by roughing his losing spade and dummy. However, by playing on spades, he gives East two entries to lead diamonds, which he has to rough high to prevent West from over roughing. Now, when he finally roughs his last spade, he will not be able to come off the dummy without promoting West's eight of hearts. The answer is for South to rough two clubs in his hand, the first with a low trump, the second with a jack of trumps. He must also rough two diamonds with the ace and king of trumps. Added to dummies three top cards and three top trumps, that makes ten tricks. A tricky hand. Let's see if the players solve it. Like most expert players, Omar signals with as high a card as he can afford, and also he may be implying two. some suit preference. Two that he has some Five. useful holding in spades. King of clubs. Four. This is according to plan Five. the ace yes. king of clubs to discard his losing Five. diamond. And now what? Now I think he'll get up to... Aha. He's, he's roughing Five. a club. That's 
a Very fairly, good. it's a good play because the danger here, as I, as I see it, Nicola, is that if he's, he... He's not roughed a club, Sammy. He's, he's discarded, discarded a diamond, ah, which he, I, I think he's let himself I see. down here. I think he can only make three now. By failing to rough, Irving has lost a temper. But instead of letting Emma Sharif hold the third club to play through a killing diamond, which in due course would promote his own heart eight, Robert Sheehan has overtaken to return a club. Samuel Cup. Eight of clubs. Ten. Two of hearts. Now. Uh, Rose has to play some spades in order to rough his third spade in the dummy. And if each time Omar gets in, he plays a diamond, I think Irving is going to be inconveniently placed when he gets off the dummy for the final time. Two of spades, five of spades. Okay. All right, now Omar returns a high diamond. Irving has to rough high. Seven of hearts. No. He has played a trump. Four of hearts. Three of hearts. Nine of hearts. Seven of spades. Ace of spades. Six of spades. Three of spades. I think I think the is all right now, isn't he? Let's see, if he returns a diamond now. Queen of diamonds. <coughs> he roughs high. Jack of hearts. He roughs a spade. No. Two of diamonds. Four of spades. Yes. Four of spades. Two He's all right now. He can now rough a spade with the ten of hearts and overtake queen the queen with the ace. And in fact, only lose three tricks. In a funny sort of way, uh, Robert getting off play with the fourth club lost a tempo. If he had played a spade to partner's ace and then a diamond, yes, which has to be roughed high, and now he can throw the fourth club. Okay. I think that's the difference on the hand, Sammy. Yes. yes. Well. Less than perfect play by both sides there. Irving made his over trick and so scores 120 plus 50 bonus for a part score. Will that be enough? The dealer is East, Martin Hoffman, playing with Jeremy Flint, against Jane Priday, North, and Zia Mahmoud, South. One diamond. Zia seems to have an easy one heart bid, but is he thinking perhaps of preempting? Hand is really not suitable for preemptive bid. bids. One of spades. Bidding is for the same starters in the other room. At this stage, Mrs. Marcus North bid three hearts to invite her partner to bid game. I suspect that Jane will now bid two diamonds as a sort of unassuming cubid, saying that she's got a good raise in heart. What, what would be the advantage of being two diamonds as opposed to two spades? I suppose to show that she has some card in diamond rather than spades. Two diamonds. Yes. Two spades. Well, Zia knows that his partner has a good hand with, with heart support. The question is whether he, he'll bit, whether he thinks that three hearts freely is enough. No, I, I think here, Sammy, he'll bid three four. Hearts. No. Oh, he doesn't. Pass. Atypical restraint by Zia. I'm sure in his normal rubber bridge games he would bid a trump four hearts. Jane's very good here. She might have made the same two diamond bid. Uh, four hearts. Good bid. Pass. 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 Jeremy Flint's on lead down. and he leads the singleton in his partner's suit. It looks, it looks uh, that if the hearts uh, divide 2-2, two, two, there's no problem. So Zia is wondering, what can he do about it if the hearts are 3-1? Okay. That is his main concern, or perhaps even 4 nothing. He probably knows that uh, West has five spades and a singleton diamond, and quite likely three hearts and four clubs. Uh, his most likely distribution on the bidding. 
bridge is often a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? Um, the bidding tells you a lot, and then the opening lead tells you more. And yes. Okay. So king three. Same player Six, Omar made. I've got all the diamonds so far. Four. four. Six. Five. King of clubs. Two. Nine of diamonds. Now at this stage in the other room, Rose led a third club and discarded a diamond. No. I have a spade. Ah. Zia is going after his spade rough. Six of spades. I noticed the queen here by east. Seven hearts, trumps. Two of hearts. East has returned a trump Five. to try and foil the Clara's attempt to rough a spade. In the dummy, but Jack. it's a it's a good effort. Okay. But I don't think you notice that East now has ducked the Ace of Spades. Permit us permit us Charlotte to play a second trump. Quite right. Ten of hearts. Ten of hearts. Jack of hearts. Ten of spades. I think. Yeah, Declare is home now. Declare has been lucky actually. East and West have. Three of clubs. Have the slipped in the defense. The defense would have been much more interesting yes. have, had East continued diamonds when yes. he was in. Yes. Eight of hearts. It's entirely possible that West Eight of Hearts would have come into its own in the yes. end. Yes. Yes, well, Zia has made short work of his yeah. hand. You can't get him quite in. So, Mahmoud and Friday, Jane Friday, have scored 420 points, making the same number of tricks in the other room. The only difference being is that here they bid the game, so they get the game bonus. So that Jane Friday and Zia Mahmoud score two points. As do Omar Sharif and Robert Sheehan score two points because they're only minus 170 in the other room. It's nice to know that even experts can make mistakes like this. Zia should have worked out that the safest line is to rough a low club in his own hand straight away. Perhaps we'll see some magic on the next hand. Let's have a look at it. On this hand, both sides are vulnerable. The dealer is Irving Rose South, playing with Rixie Marcus North, against Omar Sharif East, partnering Robert Sheehan West. One heart. <coughs> One spade. Hearts. Yes. Well, there are many people in the, uh, in the north position who would have fast holding only one queen. But uh, Rixie's maxim has always been to join in as soon as possible. Now, Omar would like to make a bid that is invitational to game without actually bidding it. So he has an option. He can either cupid the opponent's suit, perhaps, suggest that, or he can bid three spades. Three diamonds. Ah, uh, he does neither. Now, the danger with the three diamond bid is that his partner might not play it as four six. Pass. 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 Sammy, what's happened now what's happened? is that yes. three diamonds is the contract. Yes, you see, that is a problem with, with makeshift partnerships. Omar obviously intended three diamonds as forcing, which in fact many players do play, that a new suit in response to overcall is forcing. Sheehan is from the, the old school where three diamonds simply says, partner, I have a hand where I would like to play in three diamonds, and I'd have no great interest in your suit. In fact, if Irving Rose could see through the backs of the cards, he would realize that the ace of spades lead and continuation will produce two spade roughs in addition to his three tops, but it's an unlikely lead. Rose and Mrs. Marcus have agreed to, to lead the old-fashioned way of the lower of the... Of the from an ace-king combination. Thank you. Small but I think, I really three. think that the spade drop would be too difficult Nine. to find. I don't think that four. Irving will, re will realize that the Clare has four spades. Six. Yes, he's cashed his two hearts. Jack. And in the fullness of time, the defense will make the ace of spades. Unless, declare, unless South plays ace and a spade now, the Clare will make ten tricks. No. Three. The club sequence Four. is too persuasive, ace. so Omar will simply draw trumps and concede the ace of spades nine. and make ten tricks. Two. Seven. Five of diamonds. 
Seven of hearts. Ace. Four. Six of diamonds. He's, Nine of he's going to make his contract, but I don't think his heart is in it. Uh, I think he's much prefers that his partner should be playing four spades. Ten of hearts. Eight of clubs. I think that there'll be a brief discussion on system after this Can end. Can you switch? Yes, but I will. <laughs> De Clare has made 10 tricks for a score of 130 points. They have got a plus score. The fate of their fate depends on how East-West will manage the East-West hands when it is replayed. I mean, East and West here, Omar could well gain for playing in three diamonds, making four, if North and South at the other table managed to defeat four spades, uh, Indeed, Sammy. Yes, four spades does, does present some hazards uh, against careful defense. So you made four, you made four diamonds, yes? Palide is a spade that can beat three. Well, Irving has realized how to defeat three diamonds. The question now is, whether Zia and Jane will defeat four spades if Martin and Jeremy bid it at the other table. One heart, one spade. The bidding started the two same. Hearts. Seems uh, two hearts is, is, is the obvious bid on the north, out, north hand, Nicola. I, it Stop. certainly doesn't occur Four to spades. me to bid two hearts that readily. Well, Martin's not one to, to make funny bids here. He's bid the limit of his hand. Four spades, the working man's bid. Pass, pass. Here we have uh, Jeremy Flint in four spades. He has, on the surface, two losing hearts and the ace of trumps. However, as you can see, there's a slight danger here of North-South getting a diamond rough. If Jane needs a low heart, promising an honor, Zia will win them with the king and return a diamond. Then when he gets in with the ace of trumps, he can lead a heart to Jane's queen for her to give him a diamond draft. Um, what do you think of that lead of the Queen of Hearts, Nicola? I think it'll turn out to be very expensive. I know that with weak hands, it's often right to lead a high honor from four because the theory is you keep the lead and you can switch. It's more likely with king to four than with queen to four. You can switch through the strength in the dummy, but on this particular <coughs> hand, she's in fact led the card that might well have, you know, led to the beating of the contract. Her re-entry for the diamond, her partner's diamond draft. Zia is looking at some frustration, I think, at that jack of hearts and the dummy. And he's thinking to himself, well, what could I do? I can take two heart tricks and a spade, but how am I going to get her in? It's unlucky that such a thoughtful lead has cost so much. In fact, Jane is a very thoughtful player, isn't she, uh, Sammy? Yes, she is indeed. Well, Zia decided to overtake the heart. And I think he will play back the Queen of Clubs. If he doesn't find his partner with the King of Clubs, then uh, it's all over. He's probably going to try and then he'll have to try and, and get a diamond rough, but that, that is but unlikely. But he can afford to try both, can't yes, he? he? Can, yes, he can afford he to try both. He must play the yes. club first. Yes. Oh, why do I have to be playing with such a good player <laughs> on this hand, Zira is saying. I need to what? He decided to play the diamond Only first. I think king from king queen. That will be under the agreed to play. But that's around, we will play king from king queen. Jeremy is being extra cautious here, just in case Jane has the heart king. He's worried about diamond roughs. He's playing on clubs, planning to throw away the jack of hearts on his third club and cut the opponent's communications. He hopes Zia will be forced to win the third club. And a careful south will preserve his low club to frustrate that tactic. So he'll drop high clubs on the ace king. This may persuade Jeremy to believe he has only high clubs 
and so discard dummies remaining hot on Nort's nine of clubs, creating the very entry he's trying to prevent. All very clever. Flint has to decide whether the Queen of Clubs is coming down on the third round. Flint's, Flint's, Flint's uh, machinations here has been trying to eliminate the communication in the hot suit for North and South. He's trying to prevent North from getting the lead, but Zia has played extremely well by playing the 10 and Jack of Clubs to put his, give his partner a chance to gain an entry with the 9. If Zia had played two small clubs, then Flint would have been, had an easy time discarding a heart on the third club. Zia would have had to win with no way of getting his partner in. Now, all this is based on the hypothesis that North has the King of Hearts. Now, Zia, know, Zia knows that North does not have the King of Hearts, and Jane knows that she does not have the King of Hearts. But Zia's but played well with the ace, hasn't yes, she? Yes, he has. Hasn't she, yes. Sammy? He's yes. really... He's, he's, given, he's given De Clare the, the best chance of going down, and he's also given him a headache, as we see. Jeremy in my view, is the best technician in, in this ah, field. He's not fallen for it. Well done. He plays against Zia too often to fall for it. I must say, this has a, been a great battle of wits so far. He gave himself the extra chance, then decided against taking it, and uh, he's bringing his contract <laughs> home, isn't he, Sammy? Yes. Now, now Zia is looking at some frustra yeah, more frustration at the hearts. Jack of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> to try and make him. I knew what the hand was about before you even <laughs> led, believe me. <laughs> Very well played by both Zia and Jeremy yeah, Flint. Well, the hand was on the next <laughs> Zia gave, gave his side the best chance after the Queen of Hearts lead, I knew, I mean, I knew, but yeah. Jeremy yeah. was He's able to counter it. Had Jane Friday led a small heart initially, then Zia's defense would have beaten the contract. Very well played by both sides. Yes. So Jeremy Flint and Martin Hoffman made four spades, 120 points, plus a vulnerable game bonus, 500 comfortably beating the 130 scored by Rob Shee and Omar Sharif. So, two points for Flint and Hoffman, and also for Rose and Mrs. Marcus. No points for the others. Zia, that second hand must have been particularly frustrating for you. In hindsight, do you approve of the lead of the Queen of Hearts rather than a low one? Well, I can't deny that on the hand as it was, it turned out that this lead was not very successful for us. But it often is right when a weak hand is on lead for the leader to lead a high car to try and retain the lead so they're able to switch to first op possible opportunity. But whether on hindsight I, what I feel about it, well I can only say this, that I must confess that if I was in Jane's position I would have led the Queen myself. Well that's a very honest answer I must say. Did you think that uh, Jeremy was going to fall for your unblock of the Queen Jack Ten of Clubs? Uh, well, it wasn't really whether I thought he'd fall for it, but on reflection and looking at the hand, I felt that there was no other possibility to give Jeremy a chance to go wrong. That if I conducted a normal defense, that he was bound to make the hand because there was no way in which he could go wrong. So I felt that even if it's a small chance, that's the only chance I had to give him. And you, you tried to lead him a trick one, actually, by putting the ace of hearts on the queen. Uh, yes. That was a sort of a thinking plan. Well, a lot of... Uh, Good players lead uh, in this position Roman, what's called Roman leads, which is the queen from the king queen. And Jane plays a lot of duplicates, so I thought perhaps Jeremy will feel that she's leading in a style that her husband Tony has taught her rather than the style that we'll be playing on the table. Uh, sometimes it's easier to fool a, a good player rather than a weaker player because a weaker player is too innocent to be taken in. That's, uh, that's, very, that, that's yeah. very true. In fact, I mean, Jeremy was one of the few players who might possibly have gone wrong on this hand because he'd see the alternate line of cutting the communications between the uh, defense, you see. And so that was a possibility that Jeremy, I knew, would at least consider where a lesser player might not even see. Thank you very much, Zia. Well, at the end of a session in which all eight players scored two points, the tournament standings are unchanged. Zia and Robert Sheehan have five points, two behind Omar and Jane Friday, who have seven. On nine points are Irving Rose and Jeremy Flint, and still joint leaders, 
are Rixie Marcus and Martin Hoffman on 11 points. In our next session of Master Bridge, you'll see a new lineup of partnerships. Don't miss it. Goodbye for now.